Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us. We are sitting in our Tesla Model Y at the moment. And as you can see, uh, there is a wood finish across the door uh, card and also the front of the car as well along the dash. Uh, quite a nice finish, of course. I guess the issue now is that because there are so many Teslas on the road and a lot of them have uh, this wood trim. So how do you make your car feel special and look special and look different? Well, there's a company called Hills Accessories and they sell wood interior upgrade covers uh, for all the wooden aspects of your car. So for example, along the door card, uh, along the front of the car, uh, and also they make covers as well for the center console down here and also for the uh, drink holder section as well. So uh, they've kindly sent me basically covers for all these sections. So let's start installing them. So this is the first one we'll do, which is the um, cover for the dash. And this particular color is called Maple. It's a bit brighter, uh, whereas this is the original trim. By the way, they do sell parts for Model 3 and Model Y as well. And they're all made from genuine wood. And there are different types of wood that are sold on the website too. On the back of these um, covers, you will see a 3M tape. So very easy to install. So let's get on with it. So this is the uh, front dashboard trim. Let's just take off all the tape. Okay, so we've peeled all the 3M backing off the tape. We'll leave that to one side. And um, you can also buy these door card covers as well. They're for each door card. That's the left-hand side. Uh, and the new cover should just fit nicely on top like that. So that's the difference between the new and old. Okay, so we'll start with peeling the backing off the tape off the back of the uh, cover. Okay, so we've peeled the backing off the tape. So we'll start with my side, do the uh, door card here. And you see the difference between the new and the old right there. So we'll start with the right hand side, the pointy end. And I'll just slide as far as I can across there, good. And, and I'll just cover with my finger. Just making sure I cover the uh, all the original trim as close to the chrome as I can. Good, I'm pretty happy with that result. And then just gently push down on the new cover. Okay, so with the passenger side, same thing. Again, uh, just squeeze over to the pointy side as far across as I can. And then just line up all the way across. Just covering all the original trim. Again, just making sure I'm pushed right across, which I am. And then just covering it up to the chrome. Okay, and once I'm happy, push down. Okay, so that's nice. That definitely is a real wood. Feels really nice, actually. Okay, so now we're going to install the front. And if you didn't install the door cards first, then uh, it'd be harder to gauge uh, sort of dead center. But now that we've got the door cards in, it's easier just to basically just align it up. And you'll see uh, the dash has got a straight edge up the top, like that. Straight edge up the top. And then it's curved down the bottom. And that matches the original trim, of course, straight up the top across the aircon vent there. And then down is curved as it butts up against the uh, steering column. So let's put it down to match it up. And again, with the door cards in place, it's very easy just to line up and just make sure it's covering uh, enough of the trim and just so it meets the chrome. Okay, so there we go. We are happy. It's aligned enough. Good. And we'll just, again, just push it down gently like that. Okay. So that's not covering the aircon vent by any means enough airflow, you can see there. Okay, so we have aligned now the front, the dash with the door card. You can see how it looks pretty good there, it's aligned nicely. And um, if I just open the door, right, and if I just shut it, it'll be no problem, watch this. Butts right up against it, there. Okay, so now I've got the door open and I'm just gonna shut it, same thing, and then open again, nice. Okay, so that aligns up really nicely. Okay, so we're almost done with the uh, wood covers. Um, and you'll see there's an end piece here that's exposed from the original wood. They also supply you with the um, end piece too. So that'll sit like that. 
And again, 3M backing tape, so let's peel that off. Okay, so just gonna get on the floor and just to align the end piece like that. It's basically a cap that sits underneath the wood there. Okay, again, a bit of pressure. Of course, there is a joint exposed like that, but uh, the door will be shut most of the time, so you won't see it. Okay, so when I shut the door like this, okay, good. There it is, nice and neat. Okay, same with the passenger side. Again, end piece over the wood, like that. And we are good. Okay, so all the original wood is now being covered right across from door card, across the front, and across to the other door card as well. So yeah, refreshes the car. And just to shut the door, there we go, nice and neat across. All right, so it's time for part two of this installation. And we're now gonna cover the center console here. And first step is to make sure you uh, just clean uh, this area here with either a microfiber towel or a wet wipe or an alcohol wipe. So we're pretty happy that this area is clean. Now Hills also sent me some covers for this area. So this is obviously for the drink holder and uh, this is for the uh, the cover of the center console there. So that'll match nicely with the uh, center dash and also the door cards as well, all in the same maple wood trim. Okay, so let's install the uh, drink holder section first. That'll be easier. It's pretty straightforward. You just wanna make sure you sit it on top like that. So let's do that first. Let's peel off the backing tape. And again, this is made of genuine wood. Very thin as well, you see that? Pretty flimsy. That's okay, because it'll just be sitting on top of this. Okay, so I'm gonna line the cup holders so it comes in like that. Once you're happy that it's lined up, just have a look around the circle of each cup holder. Okay, you wanna slip that inside the side there. Okay, so that's slipped in like that. Good. And same with this side. Make sure that's slipped inside like that. Okay. Good. All right, so that is in and aligned. That looks really nice now. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's now install the center console cover. I'm going to put two credit cards here in the slot between the cover and the drink holder section, and you'll see why in a second. So again, backing tape of the um, the cover cover. <laughs> it's quite thin there, you can see, but still made of wood. And let's just peel off the backing tape again. Okay, so you see that it's split into two. The middle section's uh, not taped, neither is the sides, neither is the top bit there. That's important, you'll see why in a second. So let's flip this around. And the whole point of this credit card is to uh, basically have a backstop for this part where the handle is, so you can put the handle through it. But first step is to gently guide the front section into the slot there. Okay, so now that we've got the top bit inside um, that underneath the trim there, the chrome trim, then we can just come back and align it above the handle. Okay, so... Just back a bit more. That's where the credit cards are handy. It just gives us a backstop. Okay, so now we can just um, align it over the handle. Okay, so we are in. And presto, the cover is on. So there it is. And just whip the credit cards out. There it is, right? That's quite nice, actually. And there we go, there's the hills, wood covers for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, for center console and the uh, front dash as well, and the door cards looking very good.